Welcome back to Granberry TV. It's time for our weekly sheriff's report. How are you doing? Doing good. How is uh, the week been? Oh, it's always busy. It was awful rainy this week. Yeah, that <laughs> keeps things quiet for a while, but then the sun came out. Yep, yeah. and the sun's going to be out all weekend and next week. Hallelujah. <laughs> then it'll feel like summertime came, probably. Yeah, probably. <laughs> so, uh, what do you got for us? I'll run in some information about um, on the 16th, the around 12:41 a.m., Hood County deputies responded to um, Troy Zumak, Troy Oren Zumak. To, he was 18 years old and uh, for injury to a child, felony one, and bond was set on him at uh, $200,000. And he wow. was this is the guy that threw the brick at the the kid. Mm -hmm. um, that was a, what a week or two ago. Yeah. And he was caught about 24 hours after the fact. Oh. Uh, we were looking for him, and he was caught down at the 700 block of Highway 377 East. And the, like I said, the charge stemmed from the disturbance that occurred on First Street in Toler on, on the 14th, around midnight. Zumak threw a brick at his girlfriend that struck the two-year-old male child in the head, seriously injuring the child. Mm -hmm. The child was airlifted to Cook's Hospital, where he was treated for the injury that Zumak caused. The child is expected to be okay and had undergone surgery to correct the damage. Wow. So, um, I guess we'll just have to wait and see what how that goes, but hopefully yeah. he'll be okay. Mm -hmm. um, but the night shift had got information um, of where he was, and, and they worked real hard um, following up for 24 hours pretty much to find him and finally found him and took him into custody, and, and he's in jail as we speak. So. Fine. That, that's a hefty bond especially i mean that's not a good way to start off we know when you when you're 18 not a good path to go down <laughs> no um, but yep there he is so and then we had a couple arrested with meth on the 18th around 2 a.m hood county sheriff office deputies conducted a traffic stop at the 4500 block of highway 377 east during the stop deputies recovered david buford smith or discovered David Buford Smith, 33 years old, and Rebecca Monique Ibera, 20 years old, were in possession of under a gram of meth along with several drug paraphernalia items. Both suspects were arrested and charged with possession of a controlled substance, and that's a state jail felony, and bond was set at 5000 and both of them are still in jail. Fun, fun. <laughs> And on the 20th, around 10 p.m., um, narcotics officers conducted a traffic stop on the 1200 block of West Pearl. During the stop, the driver, Ricardo Enriquez Jr., 27 years old, was found to be in possession of less than a gram of meth and several hydrocodone pills. Enriquez was arrested and charged with possession of a controlled substance less than a gram, and that's a state jail felony and bond was $5,000, and possession of a controlled substance. Less than 28 grams of Class A misdemeanor bond was 2,500 on that, and he's still in jail. And uh, he's had a lengthy criminal history, and mm -hmm. um, we've dealt with him for quite a few years. So it looks like he's out of prison and back at it again. And about to go back in prison, right? Or Possibly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Never a that dull moment. Sounds like it. Well. Uh, since uh, Captain East isn't here, uh, I guess it's time for our crumb stoppers then. Yeah, Captain East is in school today. Oh, and, fun. Uh, yeah, there's a number of officers around um, town that are in a school that I, I believe the city of Granbury is putting on. So, mm -hmm. um, so I'm holding, holding down the fort while everybody's in <laughs> school. So, yeah, I guess I'll try to do the crime stoppers crime of the week today. Crime Stoppers needs information on a theft. The theft occurred on Stockton Bend Road sometime between March 10th and March 12th. The victim reported stolen a black 14-foot tandem axle trailer with an overhead rack and a Miller Bobcat 225 welder, a rigid chop saw, and an assortment of tools and equipment. The total value of the item stolen is $7,175. Wow. Anyone with information on this theft can call Crime Stoppers at 817-573-TIPS or go online at hoodcountycrimestoppers.com. You will remain anonymous if your tip leads to the arrest. You could receive up to a $1,000 cash reward. Awesome. Well, hopefully you guys, well, it's not awesome about that, but awesome about all the 
stuff that you guys have gotten off the streets, the drugs and stuff, and hopefully you guys will uh, catch whoever did this. And uh... Yep, we'll be working on it. Um, another thing, it's not really a crime, but uh, that comes to mind when I think of working on these Crime Stoppers tips um, as long and as hard as we need to till we get these things solved. The big question I've had here recently is uh, any news about Mr. Moore, mm -hmm. the elderly guy that um, left his home right. here a couple of weeks ago and um, he still has not shown back up so uh, hopefully by the time this airs then he will but um, we're following up on every every bit of information we get we're continuing to, to look along the roadways lake rivers streams gullies um, they're searching by air um, by boat mm -hmm. we've got the word out to the region to the nation about the vehicle, about him, um, so hopefully he'll turn up and yeah. turn up safe, but um, we don't have any information. He still has not used the credit card, so um, that'll look good, but we're still going to keep on working on it. Well, hopefully you guys uh, find him, and hopefully somebody out there has information. If you guys have information, um, they can contact Crime Stoppers, or do they contact your office? Either or? way, either way. We and there we need we to know as soon as possible, so probably the best way is just to, to call the office so we can get the information and, and find him as soon as possible. And you can find all the links uh, for all the places, the website, their office, um, on GranberryTV.org, or you can go to their websites. Um, and I guess if that's it, then I guess we'll see you next week. I'll be back. Thanks for having me. Thanks for coming.